Life in the ocean has been has evolving, been evolving has for been tens, evolved. hundreds of millions of years. And then along came petroleum. And we started using we started petroleum, using petroleum, petroleum to, create to create plastic. Plastics were really heavily marketed to consumers as a time-saving device, as a matter of convenience. I don't think people were thinking in the 50s and 60s, what's going to happen to all this stuff? We often talk about the Stone Age, Iron Age, and the Bronze Age. And people are starting to refer to this age as the plastic age. It's in everything. It's weird that plastics could ever have such a profoundly dark effect on our future. The fact that it is so cheap, that it is so durable, that it's literally built to last forever. We're only starting to see the implications of that now. And I think when we just throw it all into a bin and it disappears, People don't give much thought to where it goes. We make 288 million tons of plastic annually. That means every four years, four years we, make we make a billion, billion tons, tons of plastic. plastic. Where does it go?
Wow, thank you so much. How are you feeling? Feel good? Lovely, I'm feeling it too. Let me tell you about what I do and what you see around me. I think you're all curious to know what is this crazy things around me, yeah? All right, so this, all this strange looking uh, installations, self-made, I have created out of nothing. I've given them a second chance to thrash or found objects. For me, it is gold. <laughs> so let me tell you about my intention, I, about my project called Talawatam, which means the circle of rhythm. And my intention to clean the environment through music. And being an artist and being a musician, I thought it's very, very important to come out from the comf comfort zone and create your own ideas and share and educate the whole world. I am thank you to be here to submit and showcase or share my thoughts. Thank you so much once again. And uh, I'm gonna take you through the, each of my instruments, how I created, what is the story behind. This is called bottle, bottle drums. I found them in uh, Bangalore Lakes, pick them up and give them a new life. Can you believe that? It's everywhere, these plastic bottles. No, so let's start reuse or recreate or retune. That's my motto. Reuse or reduce, reuse, re retune. That's how I do and that's my lead my life. This is what I'm dedicated to hold my life. I left alone everything and now I'm picking found objects from everywhere and giving them a new life and bringing back to them, to the, to the world and showing this is what we can do. So my instruments called as newly created uh, in 2020, uh, I've created this instrument, the, it's called plastic drums. I'm gonna show you what is this like, you know? This is, and whatever you heard today, this is just live instruments, nothing computer, or there's no uh, amplification of course is there to, you know, make it louder, but this is completely acoustic instruments, totally self-produced, and I want you guys to inspire and create something else for your future generation to come. So, in my language, Bumi e nammal kaathu sushichal. Bumi, nammaleyim nammalude, makkalude makkalude, makkalude makkaleyim kaathu sushikim. Let's come together. Let's come together, make this world a better place to live for a new generation to come. That's why my message for you all. And I'm gonna play this beautiful bottle drums. And I stopped buying instruments from the stores. It's just a plastic bottle. Like it. Does it make sense? Yeah? All right. Totally discarded PVC pipes and I've tuned it to be different notes and it's becoming my new instrument. I call it tubla.
Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much.